Institutional investor and popular crypto analyst Plan B has admitted his price prediction failure in a tweet. In a series of tweets on November 25, the independent analyst took the bold step to acknowledge that his $98,000 price prediction for November is no longer in play. His tweets were met with mixed reactions, but most of his followers applauded his bravery for admitting failure when he knew the kind of backlash he would face. However, some other comments heavily criticized him for their losses, claiming they had invested heavily based on his price prediction and were waiting to make some profit. Welcome to Savvy Finances. In this video, we examine Plan B's previous price predictions, possible reasons for the failure of his November prediction, and what he wants all Bitcoin investors to look forward to for the rest of this halving cycle. The anonymous Bitcoin analyst and his models have been under heavy scrutiny after he tweeted on November 14 that his price-based floor model prediction of $98,000 for the digital currency was still in play. Then, Bitcoin had been just over $60,000 and many people doubted that the coin would be able to jump to $98,000 in less than 16 days. However, others pointed out that Bitcoin had recorded many incredible price increments in the past and could still do so. Despite the mixed reactions to his tweet, Plan B held on to his predictions for November and December. The institutional investor only corrected that the $98,000 November prediction and the $135,000 December prediction for the flagship cryptocurrency was based on his floor model and not the stock-to-flow model as many people believed. On November 17, Plan B quoted the original tweet of June 20. In the original tweet, he predicted that Bitcoin would reach $47,000 in August and fall to $43,000 in September to rise to $63,000 in October, $98,000 in November, and $135,000 in December. Plan B had made this prediction based on his price-based floor model, and he pointed this out in his November 17 tweet. Based on the accuracy of the August and September prediction, and the near accuracy of the October prediction and Plan B's reputation in the crypto community, especially on Twitter, Many investors believed his November 14 tweets and prepared for Bitcoin to record a second all-time high in the same month. However, 11 days after Plan B predicted that Bitcoin was still going to increase exponentially in November, he has admitted a price prediction failure. Floor model 98K November close will probably be a first miss after nailing August, September, and October, he stated in a recent tweet. Instead of shooting to $98,000 as Plan B had predicted, Bitcoin seems to be doing just the opposite as it currently sits well below $60,000. The drastic price decrease might have informed Plan B's decision to roll out his latest tweets, but his actions are still quite applaudable because he must have known the backlash he would face after admitting he had made a mistake with his prediction. However, Plan B's tweets and models only remain what they are, predictions that could go wrong at any point. Why did Plan B's prediction fail? Although Bitcoin started November on a high note, rising to an all-time high of $69,000 on November 10, some events following that have had negative effects on the price of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in general. One of these events is the long-awaited pullback by investors looking to test the strength of the support below the higher threshold. Investors are also looking to stabilize investment risks to accommodate rising inflation. These moves are bound to have negative effects on the flagship cryptocurrency. Government policies around the world are also bound to have some effects on the price of Bitcoin. Firstly, President Joe Biden's $1 trillion infrastructure bill has had some effects on the way cryptocurrency is traded in the United States. Biden signed the infrastructure bill on Monday, November 15. One of the bill's provisions is that cryptocurrency exchanges and brokers are mandated to declare the names and addresses of their customers. In addition, they have to declare the crypto gains and tax requirements on businesses receiving over $10,000 of cryptocurrency and other digital assets. The Indian government has also proposed a cryptocurrency regulation legislation, which will ban all private cryptocurrency holdings. Blaming others is a sign of immaturity. And GMI, is Plan B giving up on his models and price predictions? Not by the look of things. In another tweet, the anonymous analyst stated that this miss is only an oddity and nothing of such nature has happened in the past 10 years. I indeed see this miss as an outlier, a black swan that has not occurred in the data last 10 years. Plan B's floor model, which the failed prediction was based on as a technical model based primarily on the 200-day moving average. This would explain what he meant by this miss not being in line with the events of the past 10 years. However, Plan B did not mention how this oddity may affect December's $135,000 price prediction. Since the November prediction has probably failed, it is somewhat safe to assume we would not see a $135,000 Bitcoin Christmas in 2021. What Plan B wants Bitcoin investors to look forward to, according to Plan B, the floor model has failed, but his other models, the on-chain and stock-to-flow models, remain quite intact. In fact, Plan B is assured that the stock-to-flow model remains unaffected and Bitcoin is on its way to hitting $100,000. However, Plan B cannot currently predict when this would happen. 
In a previous tweet, he stated that the stock-to-flow model has not failed and would only fail if Bitcoin does not average $100,000 by the end of this halving cycle. Stock-to-flow fails if Bitcoin average price over this halving cycle is not $100K. So it is difficult to state a level. But I dumbed the 100K average down to $100,000 before 2021 close. Not entirely accurate, but let's go with that. Plan B's most recent tweet also shows that his stance on the accuracy of the stock-to-flow model has not changed. Stock to flow model not affected and indeed on track towards 100k dollars he added to his tweet about the failure of the floor model. There are currently many things in play that could swing the price of Bitcoin either way. Only time will tell if we would be seeing a new all-time high of $100,000 to $135,000 in December or early next year, or even when the famed super cycle will happen. What are your thoughts about Plan B's latest tweets? Do you think this is going to be a one-time miss for the institutional investor? Or are there many more to come? Let us have your comments in the section below. Today's episode is sponsored by iTrust Capital, the number one crypto IRA platform in America. We allow you to invest in your favorite cryptocurrencies without worrying about taxes. That's right. iTrust Capital allows you to buy and sell your favorite cryptocurrencies completely tax-free. That means if you invest $10,000 into Cardano and it grows to $100,000, all of your profits are tax-free. Why is it tax-free? We took the existing retirement account industry and flipped it on its head. Instead of boring stocks and bonds, you can invest in crypto. How is it secured? Through Coinbase Custody, one of the leading cold storage providers with a $320 million insurance policy to protect against theft, hacks, and loss of funds. Roll over your existing retirement account or even start a new one from scratch. Questions? Schedule a free call with one of our crypto retirement account specialists and they can help you discuss your options. Start your crypto IRA today and retire early only at iTrust Capital. Click the link in the description to open a free account now. Thanks for watching.